So, if you guys are just tuning into my channel for the first time, let me give you a little breakdown of what is happening. I apologize, I look like a sweaty mess right now. I have almost packed up my whole apartment here in Toronto. This is literally moving day. But the caveat is that I'm not exactly moving somewhere else. Today I am catching a flight to Athens, Greece, and that is going to be my first destination on this incredible whirlwind journey that I am starting of being a digital nomad, even though there is a pandemic going on. It's a long story of why this is the right time for me, but as you guys can see, my apartment is almost empty. I have a few things I have to throw out, but that is going to be my two carry-on bags. This fat boy is hopefully not going to be overweight. He's just, he's just a little chunky, which is going to be my check-in. And yeah, we are going to be traveling in this really crazy time. So I thought that I would bring you guys along. right now I am all checked in thankfully went without a hitch and I do have a guest pass for the uh, Maple Leaf Lounge here in Pearson but it's in the domestic terminal and I'm going to international <laughs> so let's see if I can make it happen So I am living my best life here at the Maple Leaf Lounge. My flight is going to be taking off in about an hour. So I actually got another snack bag to go. Got a wine, got an Americano. And I wanted to give a shout out to Tai Zhang, who is Vicarious Voyager here on YouTube, who actually hooked me up with these Maple Leaf Lounge passes because um, I have priority pass through my credit card, which uh, allows me into like six lounges a year for free, but it doesn't include 
include the Maple Leaf Lounge, which is the only lounge currently open during COVID times here in Toronto. So a big shout out to him and I'm going to link his channel in the description because he's got some amazing videos when it comes to reviews of business class travel, these incredible lounges and is just an all around really nice guy. So I hope you guys will check out his channel and thank you for the hookup. <laughs> Here we are in Terminal 1 in the international section and it's interesting because actually quite a few things are closed. Like yeah, there's a few restaurants, there's one duty free open, but basically everything else is closed. But yeah, my flight is going to be boarding in about half an hour and I did hear that they are trying to board the planes kind of in succession of where people are sitting so you really have to be there in time to hear when your zone is being called so i'm just going to take one last little walk around the terminal and then we are going to get on the plane and it is going to be a nine and a half hour flight <music> my flight right now and one thing that I wanted to tell you guys about that I don't think I mentioned before is that if you are going to Greece and if you hold citizenship in a country that is currently being allowed into Greece, thankfully Canada is one of them, you have to fill out this PCR form, I believe it's called, at least 48 hours before your departure. So I did mine like four or five days ago. Air Canada, you know, gave me a sort of notification that you had to do that. And I just received this QR code that I'm going to have to scan upon arrival in Greece. So I'm not sure if any other countries are doing this sort of thing, but basically the form had you fill out the um, address of where you plan on staying in Greece for uh, the 14 day period upon arrival. Uh, right now for Canadians, they're not doing mandatory testing, but there is um, a chance of random testing. If you do get randomly chosen, uh, you do the test, but you are allowed to go on to your, you know, accommodation, your destination, and you get the results within 24 hours. If it's negative, obviously you get to keep on going with your regular plans. And if you test positive, uh, the Greek government puts you in a... May I have a attention, please, ladies and gentlemen, As I was saying, if you get chosen for testing and you test positive, the Greek government will actually pay for you to stay in a designated um, hotel as you recover or if you are in a condition where you are really sick and have to be hospitalized as far as I understood the Greek government will also pay for that treatment I think that's absolutely incredible because as far as I know right now no Canadian insurance companies are covering COVID and lastly as far as uh, safety measures here in the airport uh, in Toronto Pearson uh, I had somebody check my temperature I had to fill out a questionnaire if I had been sick or denied boarding um, or if I had traveled in the last 14 days but as far as that and just having to wear a mask I haven't really noticed anything too out of the ordinary it is of course apparent that uh, there's a lot of cleaning going on at all times uh, workers here at the airport are basically sanitizing everything all the time uh, there's a lot of different arrows for like social distancing measures and just because there isn't a lot of people in the airport I found that it's really easy to do all those things and overall I feel really safe.
somehow I thought that five or six hours had passed, and in actuality, it's only three. Still have seven hours to go, and I forgot I still had all my makeup on and 